The new GeForce RTX 2070 follows hot on the heels of the first two models, the RTX 2080 and 2080 Ti that Nvidia launched last month. Like its bigger brothers, the RTX 2070 is based on the new Turing architecture, which introduces several exciting new features such as deep learning super sampling DLSS, and hardware accelerated ray tracing. For more information on these features and the Turing architecture, please check out our original tech spec of the RTX 2080 and 2080 Ti, which we'll put a link to in the video description below. As you'd expect from its name, the RTX 2070 sits below the RTX 2080 and 2080 Ti, although as you can see from the table on screen, it still packs quite a punch. We put the new GeForce RTX 2070 cards through its paces in one of our 3XS Vengeance gaming PCs with the full spec of this system on screen now. This is the same configuration we used to test the RTX 2080 and the 2080 Ti plus the previous generation GeForce GTX 1080 and 1080 Ti. As we're only testing high-end graphics cards, all the benchmarks are run at the highest quality settings with all the eye candy and post-processing turned on. All the cards were tested with the special press driver 411.51 driver using a fresh install of Windows 10 Home. We were keen to run the Final Fantasy 15 benchmark as this supports DLSS post-processing. This is really important to measure the effects of because, as we've discovered in the tech spec of the RTX 2080 and 2080 Ti, DLSS is much more efficient than TAA, boosting performance by up to 39%. The RTX 2070 presented a very similar picture to its big brothers, the RTX 2080 and RTX 2080 Ti, with the switch from TAA to DLSS boosting the frame rate by 37%. As the RTX 2070 failed to distinguish itself from the GTX 1080 using TAA, this shows that the RTX 2070 really does need games that support DLSS to appear sooner rather than later. The synthetic benchmark 3D Mark Time Spy showed more of a difference between the RTX 2070 and GTX 1080, with the new card turning in an 11% faster score. The flagship NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti made a big splash when it launched last month, delivering silky smooth frames at 4K and proving so popular that it sold out within minutes worldwide and is still only pre-orderable today. The new model, the RTX 2070, isn't up to the job of gaming at 4K, but it does deliver smooth frame rates at 2560 by 1440 with all the eye candy turned on. However, unlike the RTX 2080 Ti, which has no direct competitor, the RTX 2070 is in more of a tricky position, with its £529 launch price above that of the GTX 1080. There's also a threat from above in the shape of the GTX 1080 Ti, a classic in its day that still has a huge amount of performance to offer, even at its current price of £699. What neither of the GTX cars can offer though is support for DLC. LSS, which adds a massive amount of performance to RTX cards. RTX cards also have the potential to add ray trace lighting effects to games as well, something that simply isn't practical on a GTX card. As such, whilst the RTX 2070 isn't a must-buy right now, it has bags of potential and may well come into its own as we move into 2019 and games start appearing that support DLSS and ray tracing. Scan sells a massive range of GeForce RTX 2070 cards from a huge variety of board manufacturers, including big names such as EVGA and ASUS. We've also got water blocks for the new cards from EK, plus air and water-cooled PCs featuring the new cards, built by our award-winning 3XS systems team. Check out the links in the video below or our website, scan.co.uk, for more info.